So, Mike, I wanted to ask about uh, the question of advanced TV in 2021, what we expect to see, and really what the buyers, what your brands are asking for and, and what they need from you and from this growing medium. When I talk to our clients, they're really asking us for guidance in terms of the fractured advanced TV landscape um, and also where it fits in. And what we're working with our clients to better understand is how video more broadly is that leading edge of a strong advanced TV strategy. Um, everything should cascade down from capital V video, um, looking at the best screen, the best formats, the best data, the best buying paths for our clients to accomplish not only their overarching goals, but their campaign specific goals. So tell us about the um, value of unification of campaigns from start to finish and, and reporting and what buyers want and what you can provide. If buyers are looking for reach and frequency measurement across all screens, across all touch points and across all buying formats. So as our industry gets closer to a point of unification, um, bringing together both programmatic, um, traditional buying, linear TV buying, addressable buying, into a workflow where the data is able to feed and inform itself from a higher level view is super important. Being able to say, here's my maximum reach of my campaign across all of the video touch points, not necessarily just one of the video touch points. And how am I using an advanced audience to really refine that reach and frequency that I'm looking for in the space? So Mike, uh, I wanted to ask you sort of where the industry needs to go, um, what the buyers need and, and how the publishers, the sell side is sort of rising to the occasion or what the state is of the sell side from your perspective. So buyers need to better understand who's involved in a transaction, what tools are being used in the decisioning, how the workflow is working, not really, you know, how the sausage is getting made, but when there's multiple vendors, multiple data partners, multiple buying paths involved in a transaction, it's important for us as an agency and for our clients to really understand what value is being created by each of those initiatives so that we're able to go back to our clients and explain why each part of the workflow needs to be included in a transaction. What the responsibility of sellers is to really start to take their inventory and add value to it beyond just standard, standard buying, either in addition landscape impression based or in a linear environment um, reach and frequency based and start to pull together portfolio wide solutions that allow us as an agency and our clients to go to them with one audience and say this is the audience we're looking to look for across the entire portfolio what is the best way for us to put our money to work to find that audience great mike and um some developments you're you're looking forward to uh, in 2021 in this advanced world we've been speaking about for so many years uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the portfolio brands really taking that to heart and starting to leverage technology the way that we on the buy side are already leveraging it. Um, looking at multiple vendors inside of their own tech stacks, looking at ways to streamline audience onboarding, audience execution and reporting, um, a move, especially on the linear TV side to a more impression based digital based metrics so we can move away faster from traditional measurement and start to look at everything more holistically. Nielsen had a really good um, roadmap that they outlined, but that's three to four years away. And I really think that it's um, beholden to the publishers and the sellers themselves to work with the agencies and the buy sides in the interim to figure out ways to better leverage technology to provide consistent measurement. 